hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is evidence in today's video i am going to show you how to use pilot combined with autopip8 to fix your python code to be compliant with pip8 standards and this is gonna be fun so before we begin um you're gonna need the packages pilot and autopip8 and you can just google how to install both of those packages most times it's just PIP install pilot, PIP install autopip8, but just google it quickly and make sure you have the right syntax. So once you have those two packages installed in your environment, um, first you are going to run pilot and pilot analyzes the code and checks for errors and it kind of gives you suggestions on what needs to be fixed or refactored in order to improve the code uh, to meet pip8 standard and auto pip8 automatically formats the python code to conform to the pip8 star guide so the way this is gonna work is i'm gonna run pilot first and then we are gonna run auto pip8 and then we're gonna run pilot again and sometimes we are gonna fix some things manually instead of um, using auto pip8 to fix it so with that being said let's go ahead and begin so this is a simple Python script that I have here. Um, it's just, its job is just to take in data from a CSV file, read that data, and do some work here to prepare the data for analysis. Let me go ahead and plug my terminal. So this is PowerShell. I'm not exactly sure if I have PowerShell um, in this environment, if I don't have it. Then I'll show you how I will install it. So to run this code through PyLint to check our PyLint score, um, we just run this right here. So here, let me just do PyLint script name dot py. So since I'm already in this directory, I'm just gonna run PyLint. And the script name here is just PyLint dot py. So it says no module named sharp. Let me go ahead and comment this out. And let me go ahead and run this again. I don't have sharp in my base environment. Let's go ahead and run this from Anaconda. And let's go down and run this again. Okay, so pilot is working. Um, I didn't have these modules installed in my local computer. So when I run the code, it was giving me module not found error. But then when I switched to ML Ops um, Anaconda environment, I was able to execute um, Island. and this is fun in this environment like i intentionally um use these modules that are not installed on my local computer but they are installed in anaconda and i put those modules right here just for demonstration purposes so if we look at this um report by pilot right here it tells us that our score your code has been rated 0, 0.00 out of 10. that's really bad you know so let's go ahead and look at the problem so here it says um trailing white space a lot of trailing white space line too long and it kind of gives you um the location of on the problem so it says um by 12 so let's go to by 12 right here it says this is way too long right here um it says bad indentation on line 62 let's go to line 62 right here it says bad indentation so it kind of um, gives you um, what the problem is. And then right here it says import from sklearn. It says um, wrong import position. And it said this should be placed at the top of the module. So it kind of also gives you recommendations of what to do. Right. Um, this should be placed at the top of the module. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and place our import at the top of the module. Right. Let's go ahead and copy this. Let's go ahead and place it here. And let's go ahead and run our stuff again, pilot again. And um, this report of it being should, should be placed at the top of the module um, should be gone. And also, if you look down here, it says um, unused import. We're going to deal with that very soon. But let's go ahead and run this again. So our score didn't really go up by much <laughs> just by placing it um, at the top. But um, the Oh, wait, we still have it. It says, should be placed at the top of the module. 
wrong import position okay so not at the top of the file at the top of the module so i am guessing right here the top of the module let's go down run it again okay we are still getting um that error i think it should be placed at the top of the module um but this error doesn't even matter though because we are gonna delete some of this so let's go let's first of all go ahead and run out of out of pip 8 to automatically fix some things like bad indentation wrong space and all that stuff um so this is the code you just auto pip 8 in place aggressive aggressive then the script name and you can look up the meaning um of this method i'm um, later aggressive aggressive and in place and then the file name in this case is just pylint.py and you need to be in the folder directory that has your python file before you run this well just so that you can it makes it easier to identify your python file name so we went ahead and ran it something happened up here right and now let's go ahead and run um, pylint again to see our new score so we our score went up by four and as you can see, um, some of the error messages of like, um, some of the error messages of um, bad indentation is gone. If you go up here, you can see you have a lot of bad indentation, um, error message and trailing white space error message. So by running out of pip 8, we automatically fix those, which is great. So now let's go ahead and um, fix some of this. So right here, it says um, unused import and actually, Funny enough, I'm running, um, running the other pip eight also fix this problem of rank import position. So that's good. So if you look at this error message, it gives us down here. It says I'm um, unused import, unused import, unused import. So let's go ahead and get rid of the unused import and let's see what our score, new score is gonna be. Wait up here. So let's see. Model selection is unused import. Uh, let's see, linear model unused import. Preprocessing unused import. Sharp unused import. Joblib unused import. I'm looking at this list right here. Um, NumPy unused import. Matplotlib unused import. Model selection linear model. Ensemble unused import model selection unused import metrics unused import as well. So those I've removed um, some of the unused import. Uh, is there anything that I'm missing? Let's let's go ahead and run pilot again to get our new score. So before we had plus four point two three. And we had 4.23 um, divided by uh, over 10. Oh, look at that. So we got um, um, point, um, we got 3.27 points more. So now I'll score 7.5 over 10. Let's go ahead and take care of um, some things. Um, it says line 118, uh, 100 is too long. Um, DF doesn't confirm to snake case naming. And that is line 42. So let's go down to line 42 right there so let's go ahead and control f this and change everywhere it says df to data frame and let's go ahead and replace all and now let's go ahead and run this again oh, line one one like 118 no line 13 is too long so let's go ahead and place this on the next line how about that And then let's see, let's go ahead and run pilot again to get our new score. We have trailing white space. So we got um, 0 0.02. Let's go ahead and take care of this trailing white space using the automatic um, auto pip 8. And now let's go ahead and run pilot again. There's a dark back end to this stars. Hope you can hear it. <laughs> okay, so our score um just went up to 
9.38 so plus 1.25 so the only thing that's missing is um, missing function of dot string and and this is um, line 50 so right here is saying it is basically saying that this um, function right here is miss is missing a dot string and I have a dot string already so I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna place this dot string here and then okay so with that um, let me go ahead and run pilot again so like we have problem on line 66 line 66 right there so it is saying unindent unindent does not match any other indentation level so oh it's basically saying that this indentation level right here doesn't match this indentation level so let me see what is the appropriate indentation level right there okay so i need to move this one back shift tab Okay, now I believe everything is on the same indentation level. Let's go ahead and run our pilot again. Ooh, we have some trailing white space. Um, line is too long on line 60. So it's because of this new code that I just added. This new dark string that I added. So it looks like we lost 62 points actually. So it says line one one line uh, 60 is too long. 60. So let's go ahead and put that on the next line and let's run um, our topic 8 again and then let's run pilot again. Yay! Oh my gosh! Do you see that? So my code has been rated um, 10 out of 10 and we got um, plus 1.25 on this code. So if you go ahead and do some changes on your code, you might uh, get other errors. So like if I go ahead and press enter here and let's say tab and enter here and tab and um if i go ahead and run pilot again my score will probably go down due to trailing white space yeah trailing white space so the score is gonna go down so we lost 1.25 point like if we go ahead and run this again we should um be back to where we were 10 out of 10. yay so we are back so that's it and this is fixed now all right ladies and gentlemen that is it for this video Thank you so much for watching. That is how you use Pilot and Auto Pip 8 combined to kind of fix your code and make it up to Pip 8 standards. Um, this, of course, this is a demo, but you can kind of use similar principle to fix your code. And um, there are times when achieving 10 out of 10 is not possible due to the nature of your code, due to the nature of the work you're doing in. But um, the goal is to achieve as high a score as um, possible while also writing um good code that's it for this video thank you for watching please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and share this video with other people i'll talk to you in the next one bye